My name is Hunter W. This is Cyberpunk Edge Runners episode four. Lucky you. This is my reaction. If you guys have sat down and watched the past reactions, I say thank you. I want to say thank you. It really means a lot, and it's really cool that people actually want to take time to watch some of them. I've gotten a, a little, little views, not much, but that's okay. Some people have still clicked on my videos. Um, I just want to say thank you for that. Definitely subscribe if you like this show. I'm gonna be watching the rest of it for for the time being. Hopefully, I can finish it soon. You know, I just feel really bad for David. Let's see what happens. All right, what's happening? Whatever happens, I just hope Dave, I hope David gets some serenity, man. Like I said in my last reaction, he's been going through way too much. Holy crap, we're starting like this. All right. Whatever that was. Motherfucker. Whoa, what is happening? He swapped venues. Nah, dropped the ball on this. Sorry, ass lost calls by So these guys are edge runners. That's what they call them, cyberpunks. At least if you haven't gone and turned it to scrap. Well, there's always next time. I'll do better next time. Wow, this guy just does not. You got to clean your ears, buddy. Everything good? What the hell? Yeah. What's up, June? You need something? Uh, yeah. Got this package here from Maine. Is Peeler here? <sighs> hey, my girlfriend wants to cosplay as her. She has her gun and everything. As you can see. See you soon, Dimples. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Hey, hey, you free tonight? <laughs> oh, shoot, it's Lucy! <laughs> He's so excited. So not exactly built like a punk. Damn, that's that fucked. Frame, look primed to tweak out after one, maybe two more implants, I'd say. I ain't weak if that's what you're getting at. Keep up, then. Man, she's just teasing him, left and right. <laughs> you don't fly your crib out cover from now on, you feel me, dog? Every single day you check, wallet, cock sock, and your damn iron. What? Sure, some punk strictly hack. Oh, wow, there you go, David. Come on. Nice. Nice. What now? How old are you anyway? What? Oh, whoa, that's her implant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's like, why'd you block it, dude? Really? Thought I saw you two hitting it off the other day. Back at the block party. <laughs> he acts the mentor sometimes, then turns around, gets grabby. Had enough that night, so I fried him slightly. Fucked off real quick after that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ain't into her like that. Ain't into her like that. You sure? Or, uh... What the hell? Oh my god. This is a virtual strip bar. Uh, motherfucker was doing what? He's tired of figuring out, so he wants to go to a strip club. Oh, no. This poor guy, man. Having flashbacks to his mom. Still dealing with that. What happened? There she goes. Like the music. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, there you go, Lucy. Hell yeah. Woo! Mu that music in the fucking gore, dude. That was a cool scene. Well, I like how it keeps going back to this. Special BD she had. You don't get much more romantic than that at night. Yeah, that night she was really feeling something. On episode two, and she said, "I never, I never shown anyone else like this thing before." Oh, she's looking at him. He's got the money. There you go. Ooh. He's getting more. How long has she been running for your crew? Damn, look at him go, dude. He's got another upgrade. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is he talking about? What? 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 What happened? Oh no! Oh wow! Oh my goodness! No wonder my girlfriend likes her. Oh my God! 
Oh no, his gun! It's jammed! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, and he's looking! Oh, wait a minute! Is that the guy in the car? Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness! Oh, look at the little smile on his face. Nope. Where are they? Where are they driving? Can we talk? In this way. Oh. D we did. That was fun. Yep. Talking about the moon. Wanted to talk to you, but it's true. What I said then. It was actually the first time I told anyone. Well, that's that's good. I like that. You know, the idea that you weren't lying. Okay, so what if I'm lying now? I seriously <laughs> doubt it. Why not? You are exactly the same. You and I are worlds apart. In what way? I'm gonna take you there myself. Fly you to the moon. Oh wow. That's a promise. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good shit, David. She cares about you, dude. She cares about you. That's the whole point. That's why she's like, I don't want you to be a cyberpunk. I won't. Aww. Okay, so kind of spilled the beans here. She wasn't lying. She was lying a little bit just kind of to sell him out until they found out he was a good guy. He was, you know, David's, he's got his eye of the tiger, dude, when it comes to jobs. And he's really, he's really cyberpunk material. But Lucy was trying to protect him. She's trying to say, I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to, you know, live this type of life. Saying, oh, you got so much going on for you. But in other words, it's like she doesn't want him to die. She wants to make sure he's safe. And ooh, you can kind of see it there, man. She was, she was kind of edging a little bit about to spill her feelings but just turned it into a kiss i didn't i didn't think they would i low-key thought they would just kind of like spill their feelings out instead of just kissing but they went right to the kiss that's cool but like you know with with love dudes simple simple words can really get your point across he was like i'm gonna take you to the moon one day i'm gonna take you there because she was like oh i have nowhere else to go and he's like i'm gonna take you to the moon there you go man the kiss happened it's simple. She's saying, don't die on me. And it clearly shows that she was just trying to keep him safe. She wants to keep him safe. And she's nervous. And he was like, I'm not going to die on you. So it's clear to see they they love each other, man. That's love. She was really telling him like, oh, this is the first time I showed anybody. She was telling the truth. So yeah, it, ever since, ever since, you know, I guess they helped each other out. She started to feel for him. So that's cool. I was, I was right, I guess, you know, I was, I was right. So that's a, that's a good episode. I was really fun. It was a fun episode. We got to see all the cyberpunks get into action and all that, getting into all this trouble. And the action is really cool. I like how they do all the blood and guts. And <laughs> that girl with the Rebecca, dude, she's fucking nuts. Her gun. <laughs> she's fucking always shooting it sideways. It's funny. Even fucking shooting the dead corpse. His head was exploded already and she's shooting the guts. Like, crazy. To talk about, like, love and all that, like, with this show... It makes, it makes a lot of sense how they kind of got there. Like I said, short and sweet can really get your point across when you're with somebody for the first time. Um, literally, you could just be hanging out next to somebody you really care about, and that can be enough. Like, if you guys kind of instantly click, things will just fall into place. You know, if someone is 100% down for you, just kissing them right away, they won't pull away. And they might be a little shocked, but if they're down for you, 100%, like it shows here, he kissed her back. They kissed each other like nothing. It was smooth, short and simple, short and sweet. I really like that they showed that. And I think it makes these characters a lot more real. I can feel for these characters. I felt for David before. I'm feeling for, I'm feeling for him in this episode in terms of love. Like he, he's like, I'm going to bring you to the moon. You know, every guy wants to bring the girl to the moon. It's kind of an expression. Like I could grab the world for you and hand it to you. And that's just meaning you will do anything for them. That's the kind of topic and idea that we're getting here with these characters. 
that he will do anything for her. He saved her from that psycho who was pissing. He saved her and it kind of shows that he would do anything for her at that moment. And he said, I'll bring you to the moon. It's the same thing. So he loves her. He does. He was talking to that guy in the beginning of the episode, in the middle as well, like about, oh, I don't know. I can't figure her out. Here we go. He was like, you know, what's 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 your deal? Why can't you talk to me? Why can't you tell me? And she kisses him. Instantly, you, you, you get that. She doesn't want him to die. She cares about him. And it's it works. So I'm really happy these characters are together now. Um, let's see what happens in the next episode. That'll be all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Take care and bye-bye.